At last, the 1948 show. about the lovely Amy MacDonald. She's terribly famous and clever, and she reads lots and hates spiders. Well, that's quite <laughs> enough for now about the lovely Amy MacDonald. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, darling. I'm supposed to introduce the show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the show. Good evening. Here is the news. President Tito arrived at London Airport earlier this evening on the first stage of his five-day visit to the... <laughs> Somebody's stolen the news. <laughs> May I have the news back, please? I'm so sorry about this. Uh, will you please bring the news back immediately? <laughs> Well, as I was saying, it, it appears that this, uh, this president, um, president of um, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia has arrived at London Airport to, 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 to see uh, somebody um, very important about um, something very important, I imagine. <laughs> Apart from that, um, excuse me one moment. <laughs> A President Tito and Madame Tito were met at London Airport by Ah <laughs> Mr. George <laughs> And now a quick look at the weather. Topic A frank discussion of a controversial problem. This week, Franklin Trevelyan talks to Dr. Romboid Goat Cabin about freedom of speech. Uh, Dr. Goat Cabin, what I want to ask you first is, do you believe that in this country there is freedom of speech? Well, I always... Or to put it another way, uh, do you believe that there is, in this country, freedom of speech? Yes, well, I, I think or that... Or to, to, to paraphrase that, <laughs> uh, do you believe that there is... A freedom of speech in this, in this country. country. Yes, yeah. yes, I do. In other I, words, I, are people in this country free to speak? Yes. Well, um, that I, is I, what I, I mean. Yeah. Yes. Um, Perhaps I, I should I, say that by free, I mean, of course, unrestrained. Yes. Uh, by speech, I mean the act of speaking yes, words. Quite, quite. And by in this country, I mean, of course, Great Britain. Yes, I, I do appreciate. I, and, I feel, um, and Northern Ireland. Uh, and Northern Ireland. Yes. yes and the Channel Islands. Uh, Channel Islands. Yes. I, I but not, of course, abroad. No, no, no. No. Um, and I, I do. I mean, I, let me put another. I mean, to what extent do you? Uh, as opposed to anyone else. Uh, yes, I know the question. Who, who would be other people for the I, I do, I do, of this I do, I do know the question. Uh, feel. <laughs> by feel, I mean believe. I, I, I know the uh, question. Consider, hold to be true. I know the question. Uh, fine, credit the I know the question. Uh, maintain, I know the question. Uh, assume, uh, I know the question. Uh, I know the question. I know the question. I know the question. That this is in fact the case. I know the question. Or not. <laughs> what? What, me? Yes. You want to know what, what I think? That's right. Really? Yes. Well, I... I have forgotten the question. Uh, freedom of speech. Oh, oh yes, yes. Well, I, I what I was asking I, was, do you I, feel that freedom I, I, I of speech remember, in this I, I, I remember is the question. an illusion I remember or the question. a reality? I remember... Uh, no, I mean, by reality, yes, of course, I, remember I do believe the question. I do know the question. I know the question. I remember the question. I do know the question. I know it. I didn't want to come here. You made me come here. Considered in, in I didn't want to come. After all, was I'm not going now. Easy I'm going. On a relative, I'm going. As opposed to an Good absolute night. problem. When I say problem, I do mean an issue that affects all of us at this time. I mean, I always myself feel that while it is universally agreed that some restriction on the right of free speech is necessary, for example, in the case of the law of libel or... <laughs> case may be. I mean, bearing in mind um, that with censorship, um, many of the facts that lead to a repression of a person's opinion uh, can in fact lead, if bottled up, uh, to extremely violent uh, states of action, though I do not personally believe it to be the case. As 
there seems to be little evidence to this effect. Well, I always feel that in the case of freedom of speech, one can only... However, I'm afraid that's all that we have time for tonight. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Is this seat occupied? <laughs> no. Uh, excuse me, uh, would you mind uh, if I change places with you? What? Could I sit there? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Dear. Oh dear, oh dear. What? I thought I would like sitting here, but now I'm here, I find it's not as good as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh. So I'll sit there. Um, do you mind if I smoke? Uh, no, not at all, no. Are you sure? Uh, yes, thank you. You're not just saying that to be polite. Uh, no, 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 please do smoke. Only you would say if you didn't want me to. Yes, I would. Really? Yes, I promise I would. So you don't mind if I smoke? No. <clears throat> Only some people might object. Yes, but not me. I was just making sure. Come on. I wish I had a cigarette. <laughs> I wish I had a cigarette that I could smoke. If I had a cigarette... Do you want I'd... a cigarette? Oh! 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 Uh, no, I don't think I will. Please, take one. No, 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 I mustn't, no. No, no, take one. No, no, really, no. What? I wish I hadn't refused that cigarette. <laughs> How I wish I hadn't refused the cigarette that nice gentleman offered me, because... Oh! Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Aren't you going to smoke it? Oh, no, you see, if I smoke it now... I won't have one for after. After what? After I smoke this one. <laughs> if I had two cigarettes now, it would be plain saving. Yes, what I chiefly need is two cigarettes. Have another cigarette. Uh, oh, thank you. Keep the packet. Oh, thank you very much. Not at all. No, thank you, though. OK. No, but thank you. That's all right. Yes, but thank you. Shut up! <laughs> What was that? It was me. <laughs> it's a speech impediment. I used to go, ah! after every second word. I used to say, hello there, ah! <laughs> Mr. Moon Street. Ah! How are ah! you today? Ah! I'm fine. Ah! Yes, 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 uh, I do follow. I do understand. They cured me at the hospital, though. The doctors, they were wonderful. They stopped me going, ah! After every second word. How? They said, don't go, ah! after every second word. And it worked. <laughs> now I only go, ah! when I want to. <laughs> ah! I wanted to then. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a fairy prince, and his name was Arthur Aldridge. And he got on a train, and a magic wizard gave him some cigarettes. Magic cigarettes. What are you and, talking about? I, I'm telling myself a story to pass the time. <laughs> well, will you please tell it quietly? <laughs> this happened. 
happily ever after. The end. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something beginning with B. What? Or J. What? <laughs> B or J. B or J. Easy. B or J. How can it begin with a B or a J? For various reasons, none of which I am at liberty to divulge. <laughs> B or J? What's the answer? Ectoplasm. <laughs> ectoplasm? Mr. BJ Ectoplasm. He works in my office. <laughs> but you can't see him. You can if you have an appointment. <laughs> I can make myself disappear. Well, why don't you go and disappear, then? I can disappear, make myself invisible. Right, disappear. I can't do it while you're watching me. Look over there. I'm gone. Please, just stop. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a fairy prince, and his name was Arthur Aldridge. And he got on a train, and a magic wizard gave him some cigarettes. Magic cigarettes. And he said to the wizard, he said, Oh! And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Hello. Last week I showed you the lovely Amy MacDonald dolly, and the demand was so enormous, just everyone wanted one. So, especially for you, we are now making them in different sizes, and here they are. They don't say very much, but they certainly know what they're talking about. Hello. Well, now, let me remind you about one or two of our programmes later this evening. At ten o'clock, there'll be another chance to see the second repeat of a repeat of a programme which was first repeated at half-past nine. <laughs> and then at half-past ten, there'll be a third chance to see a recording of a repeat of the first part of the Sports Report Report on Sport, which is a repeat of the Sports Report Report Repeat reported by Peter Porter on the Sports Report Report. This is a repeat. <laughs> well, now, it's almost half past eight and time for our live programme, the 791st episode of our interminably popular serial, The Willits of Littlehampton. <laughs> After six years. <laughs> Let me look at you, Sarah. You've hardly changed. Haven't I? How was Malaya? Pretty damn grisly. <laughs> I wanted you every moment, Sarah. No, Leo, you mustn't. You know. I heard. Congratulations, Sarah. <laughs> or should I call you Mrs. Mellish? <laughs> Please don't remind me. Is he here? <laughs> Your husband? No. He's never here now. Oh, God, it's so lonely, Leo. Poor oh, Sarah. <laughs> Poor little darling. <laughs> Sarah, there's something I must ask This you. way, party, this way. Now, this is a television studio, you see. This is one of our main studios. <laughs> there seems to be some sort of rehearsal going on. Please carry on, don't mind. 
mind us just showing around a party from Jordanian television want to have a look see okay now over here we've got some cameras I like you were saying Leo um, uh... oh yes Sarah there's something I must ask you you remember that letter I sent you from Singapore after Arthur died did you open it no of course not you said not to where is it it's in the study. Sarah, I want you to get it now. I want you to read it. Now? Please, Sarah, don't argue. Do as I say. Very well. Oh, now we're back on the set again, you see. Now, this, thank you so much, dear. Now, this is supposed to be a drawing room. It's not real, of course. Just a lick of paint and a few pieces of plywood. You see this sort of thing here? Oh, dear. Uh, sorry about this. By the way, this is a stage hand. This is... And now, over here, we'll just meet one of our actor chappies. Hello there. Hello, we're on the air. Jolly good, well done. Now, these gentlemen are from Jordanian television, you know, eh? We're on the air, get on. Oh. Oh. Here's the letter, Leo. <laughs> Yes, yes, of course. Um, I suppose this is Uncle Harry and, uh, and his Arabian friends. <laughs> Uncle Harry and his Arabian friends. Uh, yes, that's Uncle Harry. Oh, no, no, we're not in the play. I'm head of drama. Yes, well, how nice to see you like this, Uncle Harry, right out of the blue, so unexpectedly, accompanied, as usual, by your inseparable Arabian friends. Um, I wonder if you would excuse us while we get on and read the letter. What? Oh, yes, don't let us get in the way. I'm sure you're frightfully busy rehearsing your play, whatnot. Jolly good. All right, Jordanian party this way. I want you to see a boom microphone. They're rather fascinating, these. <laughs> Fancy seeing Uncle Harry again. <laughs> yes. Isn't it amazing how interested he still is in Arabs? Yes, and television. Years ahead of his time. Yes, yes. 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 They're not, are they? <laughs> oh, the letter, Sarah. I want you to read it. Do you hear me, Sarah? I want you to read every word. It explains everything about that evening at Locksby, about Teddy's suicide, about everything. Oh, my God! Ah! <laughs> oh, Uncle Harry seems to have left one of his Arabian friends behind, Sarah. So he has. Go away. He, he's always, always doing things like that. <laughs> Silly old Uncle Harry. Um, why don't you go and join Uncle Harry and your two friends in the garden? <laughs> Um, Sarah, I want you to finish reading the donkey. The, the letter. I want you to read every word, do you hear me? Every single word. And then I want to talk about us, Sarah. Um, could you move up, Uncle Harry's friend? <laughs> To Lionel is. Yes. Then he's not been. No. Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. Then we're free to. Yes, darling, Sarah. Yes. Oh, Leo, darling. We're alone at last. <laughs> Apart from Uncle Harry's friend. Oh, Sarah, it's been so long since we were together like this. Just the two of us and an Arab. <laughs> Oh, Sarah, I love you, do you hear me? I love you. Madly. I love you too, Leo. Why don't you go for a stroll in the garden, Uncle Harry's friend? Uh, Sarah, I'll go and fetch Uncle Harry. Sorry to bother you again. You lost one of my party. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, oh dear. Um, Prince Abdul thing. We're moving on to yes. Studio Two now to see colour television, and you say. This is a live production. Live now, we're on the air. Uh, not a rehearsal. Um. Ah, oh, there you are, Uncle Harry. Ah, uh, good evening, yes. Um, here I am, Uncle Harry. Uncle Harry, here I am. Not the head of drama, not remotely like him, but as you so aptly put it, Uncle Harry. Jolly good. Good evening, I'm Uncle Harry. Oh, am I on the right camera? Uh, yes, yes, Uncle Harry, yes. Um, yes, uh, Sarah and I want to be alone, Uncle Harry. I wonder if you would mind taking your Arabian friend for a walk 
in the garden. In the garden. Garden. Ah, uh, uh, oh, he's gone. Ah, well, it, it doesn't matter now, Uncle. Well, lovely to see you again, Uncle, Uncle, Harry. Uncle Harry. Goodbye. Oh, uh, goodbye, and please love to Gladys. <laughs> ah, ad libbing, you know, trying to keep it going. <laughs> Quick, Sarah, there's not a moment to lose. Come with me now. Oh, yes, Leo. Now. But let's see for this moment. It's so wonderful. Him, Sarah! <laughs> Come with me now, Sarah, before it's too late. Quiet! I can hear someone coming. I think it's my husband. <laughs> ah! So this is the way you treat me, Sarah. I leave you here alone. Except for the Arabs. What? <laughs> except for the Arabs. I, I leave you here alone, except for the Arabs, and when I come home, what do I find? Him. It's no good, Mellish. Sarah knows about Sebastian's will. What? Yes, and any suicide. I've told her everything. <laughs> you mean she knows? Yes, I know that we're not legally married. Don't say I didn't warn you, Leo. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I'm Uncle Harry, you see. Who? <laughs> And the director told no. I thought I thought it'd be a good idea if I asked my Arabian friends if they'd like to leave the studio, uh, the living room, and make things easier for you, Johnny. Good. I don't care who's here, Leo. I'm going to kill you. No, Lionel. Keep no. away from him, sir. I'll give you three. One, two. This way, Nigerian party. This is a studio. <laughs> may have seen something. I fear to me. Bring her back. Bring her back. No. wounded, will Lionel Mellish find the letter, or will the head of children's programs turn up with a load of flaming Eskimos? Don't ask me, we only do the bloody programs. This way, Eskimo party, this is one of our studios, that's a camera, we'd like to have a look at that there, that's a lens, you probably have the same sort thing in your country. You can see a red light on the meat, that means you can actually... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah